my, what did I just watch? Okay, so if you watched my What I Will Watch for Fall of Anime 2016, you most likely remember me talking about this series in the anime short section. Like, the cover looked awesome. Like, the, the overall presentation it seemed interesting and wacky enough that I wanted to give it a shot. But by no means did I know how wacky and fucked this series really was until I sat down and watched the first episode this morning. So... Right off the bat, I'm just going to say, very mature humor, like, very mature humor, like, I guess sexual humor, that, that's where I'm going with the mature factor, and also toilet humor as well, literally toilet humor, so if you're not into that type of stuff, if you're not into that type of comedy, you might not like the series, just going to go on a limb here and say, you might not like the series, but if you like sexual type comedy to toilet humor, you might like to be a hero. So, the first episode. I just gotta say, the comedy surprised me. I didn't expect that much comedy, especially that type of comedy, and some of the things that were done. It was so wacky. For an anime short that's like only 11 minutes, I think it was only 11 minutes, it was such an entertaining first episode. Like, I gotta say, I mean, I liked, you know, Nambaka yesterday, you know, the prison comedy series. But, gotta admit that when it comes to comedy, so far, this is my personal favorite. It's just my type of stuff. And I mean, the art, like, getting into the art, I'm not talking about the animation, I'm talking about the art. The art reminds me so much of something you would see from Studio Trigger. Now, I don't know if Studio Trigger is working on 2B Hero, I have no idea. I don't even actually know what studio is working on this series. But, the art reminds me of Studio Trigger. If Studio Trigger is to make an anime short, which we've seen a couple of series they made, that's exactly what it looks like to me. And I'm like, yo, it's just the art's so different, wacky, it's different from the normal anime, even the normal anime short. I'm like, it really stands out. And I gotta say, I recommend watching the first episode now like i said if you like you know toilet humor or you know sexual mature humor you might like you know this first episode if you don't like it you're probably not gonna like this episode but if you like that type of comedy i fully recommend you to start watching the first episode because it's anime short it's not that long it, it, it's only like 11 minutes long but it was just so fucking funny like i love the scene where the main male character it starts up right at the beginning. Okay, like I knew this series was gonna be good when I started the beginning of the episode and I saw this one line. I, I know I'm probably not gonna say the entire line properly, like reference it right, but I'm just gonna talk about the meaning. So the main male character is talking to this woman at, uh, at a dinner. He's just talking to her, and eventually gets down to where this man is just, you know, he's like a person that uh, makes toilet seats or he installs them or whatever. And when the girl talks about how she could see or he can see straight through her to her butthole, and I'm like, like what? Like like. Wh what? what? What did I just hear? Like, what? Like, as soon as I saw that dialogue, I'm like, oh, okay, so it's it's gonna be that type of series. It's it's gonna be that type of series. Like, what the fuck? And then, when the main male character, he sits on the toilet and says he needs to take a dump, he gets dragged into the freaking toilet, down somewhere, and meets a plumber, which reminds me, oddly enough, of Mario. I'm not, I'm not even gonna joke, like, the man legit reminded me of Mario. I'm like, yo, th this is the Super Mario Brothers. So... Mario pretty much talks to this man. It's like, you're a superhero. I'm going to make you a hero and all that. You're going to deal with all sorts of, you know, villains and baddies and stuff. And so he gives this man some form of power. And next thing we know is this man literally looks like a fat, ugly blob. I'm like, what? Like... What, what what the fuck is going on? What? So, just the first episode is so wacky. It's so, like, what the hell that it's entertaining. It really is, especially towards the end of the episode. I like the end of the episode because that, that smile that man gets him when he knocked out the door. He just smiles. He's like, oh, I made a friend. And I, I like the conversation how the man was talking about, hey, you shouldn't really go out with that type of outfit. It looks like you're going full commando right now. Like, I could see your bulge. And he's like, you know, you need to wear a longer trench coat. And I'm like... Is this man straight up saying what I think he's saying? Is he, is he telling this man to wear a longer trench coat and then he smiles now? Like, what the fuck is going on here? So, yes, the comedy is rather mature and not for everyone, but give it a shot if you're if you're for it. I mean, it definitely surprised me with how entertaining it was. So there's my first impressions on 2B Hero. 
great first episode. Definitely going to watch the second episode. Now, I don't know if I'm going to review the second episode or not. I'm just going to say an FYI right here. I have no idea if I will review the second episode because I don't know if there will be content enough for me to talk about. But I just wanted to make a video first impressions to kind of get the title out there for some of you might be aware of it to give it a watch because many of you look forward to you know, my first impressions to know kind of what is coming out for the season and what's kind of interesting. And so if you're into that type of stuff, Please go get a watch. It's on Crunchyroll. First episode is. So, yeah. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.